Hello, everyone. I'm sorry I've been away for so long. It's been like 50 days, I think, since I posted my last video, but I have been sick. Um, some of the things that were wrong with me are a lot worse than I thought they were. And so, um, which means my diabetes was really out of whack. Um, problems with the liver, um, asthma, and then the kidney, which was stage three, but now I've gone from stage four going into stage five. So I really had to take some time to get my diet and to get a lot of things under control. And so, and with the depression, it hit me, all these things hit me at one time. It has taken me a while to um, sort through these things and to get a handle on them. But I just want to let the people out there who are subscribed to my channel to let you know I have not gone nowhere. I'm still here. And to let you know, soon I will be starting a new series. And it's going to be on the Philippines. The title of it is So you want to move to the Philippines. I want to cover some t very important topics that I believe that um, people who are considering moving to the Philippines should know. And my advice is not something that's definitive. I'm not telling you what to do or nothing like that, but advice only. So only take it as advice. And that's meant for all the snowflakes, the Karens, the trolls, and everyone else out there who would like to take things the wrong way. But just advice, if you're one of the aforementioned groups, I would advise you not to come to the Philippines because this is not the West. It's stuff like that is not tolerated. Um, if you have um those type of views my this series will cover that you will find life here extremely hard and you don't want to live a hard life here okay that's just advice so if you are one of those people then you may want to reconsider coming to the philippines to begin with because it is not the West. But if you're willing to accept things here and you're open and you have an open mind and you don't have to be pampered and have all the amenities and blah, 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 blah that you may have in the West and, and know that things are not going to go the way you want them to all the time, the Philippines just might be the ticket for you. It's a beautiful country, beautiful people, and it's worth staying here. And it's just a beautiful country. And I don't know, I cannot say enough good things about the country. But as always, with all countries, they every country has their own niche and their things that you have to get used to here. The aforementioned groups are looked down upon. If you're uh, a homophobic, this is not the country you want to come to, okay? Because they don't appreciate that either. They have a very, um, even though they, even though the Philippines is predominantly Catholic, and for those who don't like God, this is not the country you want to come to either. Um, they believe in God and he's very strong in their society. Even with that being said, they still are very open and they're one of the people who believe, um, live and let live. You do your thing. I'll do my thing. I don't bother you. You will not bother me. And we can all get along just fine. And it seems to work. So... My, that's what my series is it's going to cover all the other little little idiosyncrasies that you just have to deal with here.
okay so and if you can't then maybe this is not the country for you but this is just a, a let you know that i am still here i do plan on making still videos and i just had some health issues and i need to take care of those health issues and so you know that's just the way life is so if you're interested Please stay tuned and I will be sharing some of those insights into the Philippines for you. And there are some informations that I believe that you really need to know with, and that's in the context of my opinion. Okay, so I hope you will be able to listen to those. I will be starting them starting this series soon and you'll see i'll have a backdrop of the philippine flag and there's just some things you really need to know before coming here so you will not suffer cultural shock you'll not suffer shock at all because it's not like going down the street in your in your hometown and you know your house is one thing down the street's the same thing no here you come in here it's completely different there are things that a lot of people are not used to and they'll find that they just cannot tolerate that type of change so i hope you will enjoy the series that i will be starting and just to let you know that uh, as long as my health permits i will be doing videos and so but uh, just to let you know that sometime in the future, I will be going back to the States to get some needed um, health care um, stuff taken care of. And so, but I just wanted to let you know that I have not gone nowhere. And so you have a blessed day and have a wonderful Sabbath. Shabbat Shalom. And... Um, Merci beaucoup. Au revoir.